Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Margaret Nyakamo, the controller of budget, is exposing how Rigadi Gashagwa, together with his office, they have used millions of money in certain issues that even if it is a must that the deputy president's office must have a cutting, the office of the deputy president must have furniture, then this just a bombshell. Gashagwa's office spent 10 million Kenya shillings on curtains. 10 million Kenya shillings on curtains. Number two, Rigadi Gashagwa has already spent 7 million on furniture. 7 million Kenya shillings on furniture. At the same time, we are being told that the government to spend 600 million Kenya shillings to refurbish Gashagwa's resident mansion in Kare. And remember, the mansion cost 450 million to build. But to renovate is going to consume 600 million Kenya shillings. Now, as Margaret Nyakamo is rejecting to approve the allocation of 600 million Kenya shillings to refurbish regarding uh, residence home, this is whatever Margaret said once. Our, uh, earlier on. But before you do that, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this video and you have not liked this video, please do me a favor and ensure you like this video. When you like this video, you automatically support this channel. Please consider liking, commenting, and sharing this video. If you're a visitor for the first time visiting this channel, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Please let's, let us listen to whatever Margaret Nyakami said. suffered a long time from poor forecasting. And uh, this is an area, please, uh, I would ask the committee to talk to the National Treasury on a very serious note. The exaggerations are in the National Treasury. And let me just give one example. When I was doing uh, the budget for consolidated fund services, this is where my salary is paid from. I found out that my salary was budgeted at three times what I'm paid. Wow. I am the only state officer in my institution. So there's nothing like confusion there. I'm all alone. So I asked them, why is the budget showing three times what my annual salary is? And it was like that for all the state officers. Yeah, what was the answer, madam? <laughs> Chairman, I have not received the answer. Thank you. Are you Integrity. 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 They have not answered me why they budgeted three times what I'm supposed to be earning. So, now, if that is only my salary, what I'm saying, we don't know what else is dodgy in there. And then uh, when it comes to the supplementary, these amounts are then reallocated to, to other areas. So, honorable members, I'm asking you to talk to the Treasury in a very uh, matter-of-fact manner to look at the way uh, they are handling the budgeting. I think the problem is there. There is a big problem. Yes. Thank you very much uh, once again. So now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the government that blamed Uhuru Megai Kenyatta towards misuse, misusing Kenyan resources not in a good way. Immediately, Rigadi Gashagwa was sworn in as the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. He was to occupy the deputy president residence in Karen. Rigadi Ashagwa said he was not going to that residence because the roof was leaking, the house was in a bad state, 
and for him he wanted the renovation to take place now even immediately he was to occupy the office he blamed Oguru Mege Kenyatta withdrawing the expenditure of that residence and I remember very well regarding Ashago said that Oguru Kenyatta had neglected William Ruto and in fact William Ruto was paying all bills electricity water workers that is what we had to we were told but now regarding Ashago is hypocrite why am I saying that you cannot come and tell people that you are looking forward to utilize Kenyan's resources, but on this side, you alone, you are buying curtains of 10 million. You alone, you are buying furniture of 7 million. You alone, you want your residence, Deputy President residence, to be refurbished using 600 million Kenyan shillings. A resident that was built worth 450 million Kenyan shillings. We are told it is going to be republished at 600 million Kenyan shillings. Now, when you look at the budget that has been allocated to William Ruto's, William Ruto's state house, it is so shocking, even it's almost to the budget that is being allocated to different counties. So the question is, you people, you told us, you understand how to utilize the resources. You said you had found empty coffers, but you are enjoying Kenyan's money, Kenyan's taxes. But now, I never knew that to embrace bottom up, was going to ensure that Rigadia Shawa will need, will need renovation. The resident is blessed. However, when you look at the expenditure that is being thrown to this resident, I'm so shocked. When they talked about Mama Boga, when they talked about Boda Boda, when they talked about freedom is coming, what did they meant with freedom coming? Because what only I'm seeing today is opposite, totally opposite, totally opposite to the expectations of Kenyans. Regardless of that, I think you will find that the government only spends more money to utilize or rather to set all these offices. Because remember, if Rigadi Gashago is, is consuming 10 million curtains, curtains worth 10 million Kenyan shillings, and furniture's worth 7 million, what about the office of Musali Mdabadi? What about the office of the cabinet ministers? What about the state house? What about the office of the president? So I'm so worried if this is not going to be utilized, we are going to find ourselves leaders using more money than even the money that has been allocated to the counties. These people to support devolution is a kind of big problem to them. But we must come out and remind them that for now, the Gadiga Shago does not need curtains worth 10 million. The Gadiga Shago does not need a re renovation worth 600 million Kenyan shillings. Almost past half a billion. What is this thing that Rigadi Gashago is going to do in his residence, uh, deputy president residence, that is going to change the lives of Kenyans? I don't see. It is just tourists, propaganda, left, right, center, and that is whatever is happening. So for me, I've realized that these individuals are consuming more money than even the money is being allocated to the bursaries, county governments, and development. In fact, Nyakamo rejected the allocation of buying new vehicles. But even despite of that, I saw William Ruto 
and his brigade they had already bought new cars. So they are spending more money making their life comfortable as Kenyans are suffering. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video.